Hey guys, so I thought I would do an updated skincare routine because I got asked by someone to do one, so I figured why not. Um, so there is quite a bit little changes from the last time I did one. Um, so let's go ahead and get started then. Um, for makeup removing right now, so before my cleansers and all that, if, I wear, if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I'll use makeup removing wipes before I wash my face. And I'm right now currently using the pomegranate one by Kors which is for normal decombination skin for face and eyes. These work very well actually. However, the smell, ugh. They're like so soury sweet smelling, it's like gross. It's one thing I don't like about that. But it actually takes the makeup off really well. And then, um, what I use after that, after I use the wipes and before I cleanse my face, I've been using the, I've been using argan oil as like, Kind of like what some women do when they use olive oil just to make sure all the makeup's off. So I recently just purchased this. I've only had this for about a week, week and a half. Um, and I read up online before I tried it how I was going to use it. And I read online most women use it as a moisturizer. However, I was a little uncomfortable leaving this oil on my face overnight just because it's so oily feeling. It feels like olive oil. And I had read somewhere that some people use it as a makeup remover and they massage their face and wash it off. And I felt more comfortable doing that than leaving it on my face. So after the wipes, I will use a couple drops of this and massage it all over my face. Make sure it gets all the extra makeup that maybe the cloth didn't and um, moisturizes. It's kind of like a little bit of a treatment before I go to washing my face. Um, or if I really wasn't wearing makeup that day, I'll skip the wipes and just do the argan oil. And then after the argan oil, I cleanse cleanse and tone my face. I am still using the Purity Made Simple Cleanser by Philosophy. I use this in the shower with my Clarisonic. I still use in the shower only though. Uh, it's just easiest that way. It's convenient because I'm lazy and it just works that way for me. So whenever I take a shower is when I use my Clarisonic. Usually about once a day. Um, and then by the sink for me, which I'll use whenever I'm not showering, is this by Derma Doctor Ain't Misbehaving Medicated Aha A H A B H A Acne Cleanser for Oily, Blemish Prone, or Combination Skin? Um, the only thing that I would say, I bought this in the summertime, but was not ready to use it because I hadn't finished my other cleanser. Uh, I would say that this isn't a good cleanser for me for wintertime. It, it's a little more harsh because it has, let's see, it has salicylic acid. Uh, advanced polymer technology that soaks up excess oils, witch hazel, alan, alantoin, a botanical extract thought to have healing and anti-irritating properties. Um, so it just has a lot of, um, a lot of different things and that's supposed to be for acne prone skin and I feel like it's just a little too harsh for me for the winter time but I'm still using it I try not to use it as much I have been grabbing this out of the shower to use this more often as compared to using this just because I feel like it's a little bit too much for me and the next thing that I always do on my step is tone which I use the oil lotion by Mara Badescu before I was using the glycolic acid one this one I use in the winter because it's for uh, combination dry sensitive skin um so it's just less harsh in the winter time for me the next thing that I will do which I've been doing is taking the tish tish tisserand tisserand whatever it's 100% tea tree oil organic tea tree oil and been taking my DDF Ultra Light Oil Free Moisturizing Dew. So that's after I tone. I take this, I squirt a pump of it. Not even a pump, because a pump, I tried th thinking it's a pump, and I was like, oh, okay, it's just one pump. It squirts out so much for one pump, so I don't do the whole pump. I do that, and then I take the lid off, and I turn it upside down, and I usually get about one to two drops. I can't control how fast the drops come out. Sometimes I get two, sometimes I get one drop with the moisturizer mix it together and put it all over my face and I actually really really like this tea tree oil it's it's not like the argan oil where this actually feels like an oil on this feels more like an astringent type thing it's like tingly feeling it feels like it's actually cleaning my face um, I haven't experienced any issues with drying I've noticed that a lot of people online have been complaining about it drying and people complain about the smell I mean it smells like tea tree oil 
So it smells organic, okay? It smells herbal. You have, just have to get used to it. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> um, so that steps the, the um, tea tree oil. I'll either mix it, like I said, I'll either mix it with the DDF or I'll mix it with the stone crop hydrating gel. It just depends on the eye. Since I have two moisturizers right now, it just depends on how I feel and what I want to do with what. There's no real method for that. So if it's daytime, I'll use the, D the DDF or the Eminence Hi Stone Crop Hydrating Gel with my tea tree oil. And then the next step I will do is just use a little bit of the Murad Exfoliating Acne Gel all over my face or as like another treatment. And then I wait for that to dry. And then of course, I'll always use my oil control mattifying gel by Murad during the day. It is nighttime uh, and my face is feeling a little more dry. Instead of mixing my tea tree oil with the DDF or the Eminence, I'll mix it with the Seaweed Night Cream, which is just a little more thick in consistency. It's thick, it's more creamy. It's oil free though, and it won't break you out. It hasn't broken me out yet. And I'll just mix that with the tea tree oil instead of the other stuff, just as a little bit more hydrating. Um, and then, following along with nighttime, I still use Retin-A. This is actually still the exact same tube that I showed before. However, I need a new one. It's like completely gone. And I will mostly just, with the, since with the tea tree oil, I will mostly just focus this in areas I know I'm going to break out. Because the tea tree oil tends to help get rid of everything. So, I don't know why for a while it was really breaking out around my eyebrows, which I had no idea why because when I get my eyebrows done, I don't let them put anything on my face because the one time I did, I broke out. Um, so yeah, I'll focus it on areas where I know I break out. So like for some reason, I've been breaking out along the side and the funny thing is I've been breaking out on the right side of my face more than I have on the left side. So I feel like it's something I'm doing. Maybe my phone. I don't know what, but I tend to break out more on the right side of my face than I do on the left side. Funny. For eye treatments. I'm still using the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller. It's almost done. It's about to right here. And then I've been using this for a good while now. I've just never mentioned it before, which is the Urban Decay Lush Lash System. And you can see how much of this left. It's about halfway done. Um, I don't know how I really feel about this because the only reason why I feel that way is because before I used this one, I used the Too Faced, what is this called, Long Stemmed Lashes right before using this one. And I really liked this one because it was a liner on one side, which it's all dried up. I don't know why I keep it. It's a liner on one side and then the Nighttime Serum on the other side. So I would always forget to put the Nighttime Serum on, but I always, always use this black side as my daily liquid eyeliner that I, people actually were like wow your lashes look really long you know your lashes look good so when I switched over to using this one my lashes were already long from the Too Faced ones so uh, the only thing I can say is I guess it's keeping them the same length that the Too, Too Faced ones were however I kind of feel like I like the Too Faced one a little better just because of using a li your daily liquid liner would be lash growing and the one thing I don't like about this is the, is the clear mascara side because you can't really tell it's clear. I thought at least when you put it on it would make your lashes white. However, it doesn't. And so I feel like I'm not doing anything when I'm putting it on. And I like to be able to know that the product's actually going on my lashes. Another thing that I use on occasion, not always, it says you're supposed to use it every day. I don't use it every day. I use the Unwrinkle Peel Pads by Peter Thomas Roth. It gives you 60 pads. I'll, I usually use these in the morning when I wake up. I'll do that before I wash my face. Um, and it's just a, a little circle pad. Just a little pad that you rub all over your face. You wait one to three minutes and then you wash it off. So since I do the argon oil at night, I tend to do this during the day. In the morning. Where's my remote? Oh, there it is. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and I will talk to you later.